Poo, I didn't make that in time, did I? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hello, big hello. Fail. Happy fail. Happy fail. Welcome to the replay. Welcome to the replay for all you replayers. Oh, there's some music. Told you. It's going. Hey, everybody. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let us know you're out there and say Tomorrow hi. Tomorrow starts Chuck on. Beep, 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 10 o'clock mountain, 9 o'clock. Yeah. Pacific. We have to set my timer. Yes. Um, if you are just catching us live for the first time, hello. We're Kevin and Sean. And we make pretty things. Mm -hmm. We make freeze dried candy. Mm -hmm. We do all the things. Oh, hi, Sandra. So today, start. we're going to make a fun project of something that I've wanted to use because it reminds me of my mommy. Yes. And so okay. today was the day. Um, but if you are new Give here and want to know more about Chalk Tour or our candy or all the things we do, make sure to look for our link. It is the links.co slash cckk. Yes, two eyes. Two eyes. This is your one stop shop for everything that you need of everything we're mm -hmm. talking about. So if you're thinking about Chalk Tour like you want to shop, our site or maybe you're thinking you want to get a discount and join as a designer or be part of our club or mm -hmm. all the things all or things. what is you use for your products or where do i get your freeze-dried candy that is the website now yeah. when you click on that website it's going to take you either on your computer or on your phone to our link landing page now the link landing page has everything that you're going to need to know um in general, for Chalk Couture, all of the cool things. So let me give you a quick tour as people are hopping in here. So like here is down. our links landing page. Essentially, the way this works is um, this is the home page. Up here, you have all of the different, uh, basically, categories. categories. Yeah. Um, you also have a search function, which is great. So if you click here, this is going to take you to our Etsy store. Our Etsy store features our digital files. It features our freeze-dried candy, our new UV prints, the artwork that is for sale if you would like to purchase that. We even have everything on the left-hand side, so it's easy to find. Um, don't forget, our digital file bundles are 75% off. This gets you all the SVGs that are released during that time frame. So we have the fresh start, the summer brations, the spring, and then, of course, autumn is coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow, so we'll start working on that. We, of course, have all of our freeze-dried candy. Soon, yes, soon. very soon, we will have some gummy worms, gummy mm -hmm. bears, yep. some gummy rings, yep. and saltwater taffy. We have yep. a lot in the works. Yes. Now, um, if you go back here, you have a sale page. This is going to take you to everything that's on sale with Chocotour from 30 to 70% off. Anytime you need to go back, just hit this little arrow. I also give you all the monthly news. Now, I'm here to say that Midnight, the color of the month, has sold out. It is gone, so if you didn't get it, it is no more. But we will have a new color on July 1st. We do still have our Kickstart bundles for both customers and Club Couture customers where you get the bonus. And, of course, our brand new perks pack this one is amazing you're gonna get 310 dollars worth of product for just 59 dollars plus this gets you the 40 percent off um everything in the catalog and you might be saying i have no idea what you're talking about ken that's okay because if you go back to the home page or if you have friends that you want to send here i've broken it down into what is chalk couture three ways to experience chalk couture yourself the first way is to shop our products and then you can shop them all you can join as a designer and become a designer and get all your questions answered or you could join as a club member and then of course if you go here let's say someone's interested in becoming a designer it actually takes you to even more information where it talks to you about all of the perks that's all right there now the big thing here is links from our live anything that we are talking about today will be here so for example chalk tour supplies it is going to bring up all of the supplies that we're going to be using in today's uh, live and then also we have our freeze-dried candy those digital file bundles everything is here that you need in one nice stop so I really like this but also as we're doing our live project if you have questions just let us know we'll be happy to 
answer them. Now, tomorrow starts Chacon. So Chacon is our annual celebration where we normally go somewhere. We were supposed to be in Florida and we celebrate a brand new release, all of the new news, all of the things coming. I'm really excited about this Chacon, even though it's virtually because we have a brand new team that are buying stuff and doing things. So for example, the last release, which was the letter boards, the uh, longer bo board and base, a lot of those things that sold out um, was from one of our new uh, uh, team members who is purchasing. Her name's Julia. So I'm excited because this is yeah. the first catalog that will have some of her stuff and then the next catalog will have even more. Nice. So I'm really excited. Like she brought the bird house, the oh, 3D bird right, house. Really excited. Yep. So stay tuned because I will be going live um, or at least posting on my page updates, new catalog, new product, um, new colors, all of the things. We're going to be watching it live. So stay tuned for that. Um, and it is Friday and Saturday. Yes, it is. It is. Mm -hmm. So um, let's talk about tonight's project. We're going to be doing something with our rustic round. I love this round. It's going to be a welcome door sign. And then we're going to be using um, etched peonies, which is one of my favorite. It reminds me of my mom. She loved peonies. For those of you who may not know this, I have a tattoo on my back mm -hmm. that is full of peonies because um, that was her favorite flower. Um, yeah, a whole bunch of them out in front of Also, when I was in Dallas, we went to one of my favorite stores. It's called Direct Tools Outlet. And I finally got my glue tips. These mm. are three different tips that I can put on my Ryobi glue gun. We have a spreader, an angle, and an extended. So you just literally unscrew this here, which... You may need it. I don't know if you I'm going to have to use something because there's so much glue on here. And then you put this on. So I'm going to have to read how to do it or... Usually need a wrench. Yeah. Yeah. Is just, that what I need? Yeah, you just take, you take yeah. this off. Unscrew so I'm that. super excited. Um, but let's get going with the show. The first thing we're going to do is grab my etched peonies. Now, I thought I was going to do a wood cutout with this um, and uh, prop it up. But I'm actually going to go for a different look. Now, this is a brand new transfer. What did I just hit? I don't know what you just hit. Uh, give me a second. Uh-oh. Are we gone? Nope, we're still going. It's... Hi, Dee Dee. I saw your photo on Facebook. I think you were on a Father's Day maybe camping trip and you were bundled under a blanket with someone. It was very cute. It was cute. Um, okay, so on a brand new transfer, I always like to write back. And why do we do this, Mr. Sean? So this way we know the back because the new company that they have making these didn't quite have a dull side and a shiny side. So it's like, you kind of need to know which one's which. Yeah. Now I love the new transfers because they are transparent. So you can kind of see where you want to place it on your round. Now this round um, has a, I always call it a um, faux finish. So I like to take just a baby wipe. You could take a Lysol wipe, whatever. And the reason I do this is just because there is a little layer of dust. Just, I'm sure, from being in. You can see right there. See how dusty and yeah. icky dirty. So I just do a quick wipe of that. And then just grab a hair dryer. All right. Hello, hello. And then I'm just going to fuzz this a few times. I'm going to do it about probably three. And then we're going to place it and, on our board. And just use this board for a welcome. Welcome to board. the porch board. And then Elizabeth said she did the, a pillow for a gift with this transfer. She loves it's this transfer. It's a beautiful transfer. So I want to try to get as much of the flowers on here as possible and fill in the space. And I know it's gonna go off a little bit. Um, let's see. I can almost go. Well, maybe not. If I do that, I can get at least a little bit of that flower. 
need to make sure it's straight though. It's a flower. They could be bending. This is true. What do you think? Right there? I think it looks great. So this is what I like about this is you guys can see kind of the placement and stuff. So what we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing some painting. Um, so we have a couple options. We can either do this all in white to see our outlines or the color that we're going to be painting, which is what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to grab the colors, which is raspberry sorbet and this color, the um, sage. Because we're going to be painting this. We're going to dry it and then we're going to lay this back over and do a nice look. So I'm going to open up my raspberry sorbet, which is going to be the flowers. And then, oh, can I have you clean that shiny? Oh, yes. Here you go. Um, we're going to use sage. I have not used this color, so I have just a little bit of ickiness on the top. Sean's going to clean off, and then I'll add some water. So the nice thing is that sometimes, um, this is why I stress to clean your jars. Um, if you don't get a nice seal on the jar, so you can see on this one, this one looks great because Sean has taken the time to clean it. If you don't take the time to clean it, let me see if I can find one. I should have shown that one because it was pretty bad. Um, if you don't take the time to clean it, sometimes air, uh, if you don't get a nice seal, let me see if I have any that don't have a good seal. Mm, maybe it's just that one. That one was bad. I should have showed you guys that one. Had mold in it because I did not do a good job sealing it because I know this may shock you. I don't like to clean up and Sean does. Hmm. The rest of these look good. That was just one in the wild. All right, so that looks better. I'm going to add a little bit of water. Just remember our chalk is water soluble, which means you can just add water if it gets too thick or even if it's too thin, you can just leave it out with the lid off. Much better. So if you do have any mold on the top, it is natural because we use natural pigments in our paste. And so those will get mold if they have air exposure. So if you don't, that's why Sean will always stress when he's cleaning jars to clean this part, like the clean edges. Clean it all. Because you want to get, and you'll even clean the lid. You want to get it, if you get a really good seal, you won't have the uh mold issue and the other thing you also want to do make sure you don't use tap water tap water can cause mold as well always yes. use distilled Anne is asking a question do you have to wax the board first we don't um, so we don't a lot of designers will say yes so i guess is this the flower or leaf where um i would say that's the flower and flower yeah okay um so basically this surface is technically considered a one-time use surface meaning it was designed for us to chalk on and then it's going to be displayed or you know whatever um most if you read on the back i believe even on here it will say one-time surfaces should always be waxed um we don't and the reason why and Sean will tell you this, is the environment you live in. Mm -hmm. There's many times, now we live in a place that's not humid. It's fairly dry here, Arizona, it's dry. But if you start going back east, down south, all you guys who have that high humidity, they have found by waxing your boards first, it works a lot better. Um, even some people back east, up north, and Jersey and stuff, they may do it as well. It just depends on how it works. Um, we have done it on that was a leaf, if it is okay. if it is a non chocotour board we may do it especially if it's a really cheapy like a dollar the buck and a quarter store uh, probably would do it because it's just not going to be high quality chalkboard then yes we would then do some waxing but anything like that here we don't now we did see a trick when we were in dallas that i loved um I from a designer where instead of using the paste they just used wax paper which oh, worked right. beautifully that's right i forget who did that elizabeth says she chalked the hummingbird going to the flower very cool 
Now, once again, this is basically just giving us an outline. So we're gonna end up painting. So if we get a little bit of mixed colors, or this isn't, if like there was an area where I did a little bit of the leaf where the flower should be, don't worry because all of this is going to get painted using just a, a paintbrush. So I'm not too worried about being... Hello, Heather. Okay, so I'm just gonna remove any excess here. How do you fix transfers that don't stick? Well, sometimes if it's a, something that's been used over and over and over again, eventually it will lose its stick. Um, but if you have one that's only been used a couple times and you seem like it's lost its stick, the best way you can fix that is wash it, keep it super wet, bring it to a tabletop like this thing here, and place it sticky side down. And then take your four inch squeegee and squeegee off all the water. Take your uh, a towel or your frozen cloth and get all the water off of that. Take it off and then dry the other end and you'll find that the stickiness comes back. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go wash this. Sean's gonna dry yeah. it real quick. Yeah. And Mary will answer that in just a minute. Give a sec here. So this is how you do it. This would have been uh, Miss Sue... Heather. So, so. you, you want to get it, not, like you can see just how dripping wet that is. Will you get me a window cloth? Yes. Um, and then sticky side down, take a four inch squeegee. And for those that don't have a four inch squeegee, I, it's a must. Um, and you want to squeegee out all of the water. And this will work. It won't bring your sticky back where it's like sticky all the time. But if you do it in between use, it brings it back to where it's doable. You can buy a spray adhesive like Elmer's or Pixie, Pixie spray, or I think they call it purple spray now, but, um, and it will kind of give you some extra life. So you can see all that water under there. I'm just going to take fuzzing cloth. And then this time I'm gonna do it sticky side up. And then this here is a window cloth from Norwex, but you can use anything that has very high, like this is polyester and then something called polymide. And it just is super absorbent, so it gets all that water. But then you will start to see the stick come back. Um, Mary wanted to know, what did you say about using wax paper? Please repeat. I don't have any wax paper I would show you, but basically the person... We could use probably a parchment. Yeah, so it. basically on a surface that needs to be waxed, they would just go on the wax side. Let's say this was the wax side. They crumple it up and they literally just real hard... On the surface. On using. the surface, go back and forth. And it literally takes the wax from the wax paper and puts a thin layer of wax mm -hmm. on that surface to where you don't have to. Jen Abel, hello, long time no see. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is grab some paint brushes. Mm -hmm. Now you can grab, by all means, a color tray. Um, I'm just going to water mine down and then we're gonna paint with it. And then when we do the second layer, we will um, do some darker colors. So we're gonna get a nice highlight. I'm just wondering, for those who have peonies in their in their yard, and after, it's after they're done blooming, do you get this problem? 
where you have bugs eat all the edges. <laughs> I never see bugs on my plant. They must eat them at night. I don't know, but it's very weird. They're just, first they're nice and smooth. And then all of a sudden, once the blooms are gone, all the edges are got eating spots like a caterpillar or something, but I never see them. It's very weird. We love our peenies. Mm -hmm. He really loves have... our neighbor's peenies because yeah. they have a really... They have a really dark... We need to find more, but I always forget when you're supposed to... You can do it You can do it after the bloom. Just Is that when? Yeah, do it after the bloom and maybe just before fall sets in. You can grab the root. You can just grab a root and just put it in during the fall and it'll come back next year. Hello, Diantha. Now, obviously this, you're just gonna be painting in uh, all these different spots. Um, you can add different colors or um, water it down more. You can start blending colors. Mm -hmm. But essentially we're just painting at this point. Uh, Mary says, don't have problems with the leaves, but usually have little ants. Yes, ants are very well known to be round peonies because it they gives off. They open the petals, They help right? open the uh, bulbs because, first of all, they're sweet. Very sweet. Oh, and is that why? Yeah. I didn't know that. There's, they're very sweet, and that's why they like them. So they do help uh, open up the petals. So, yeah, usually a lot of times you'll find... Uh, so many times yeah. we've wanted to just go... Because literally all you have to do is go dig up a root and put it in your yard. And yep. it usually takes... It comes back next year. And, and my mom had a ton. And, and that's where we got ours. And then... And hers were all the same color. So we they could, were all I the thought light she had different. Pinks. Um, so Sean's like... One time he told us, he was like... When our neighbors are camping, I wonder, like when they cut back their peonies, if they know if we just went and took a little... Take one little root. I just want one, one little root. One little root. <laughs> we need to just buy some, but yeah, I think you it's. Can... I think you're supposed to... Like, it's best to do it in the fall, I Yeah, think. you do it just in the fall, just like and all, we all the other forget. bulbs. And we always forget. We do bulbs. have bulbs somewhere, we just can't locate them. And they're probably dead now. No, I think they're in a dark bag, and they said it as long as they're kept there, it didn't matter. If not, they're dead. I think they're dead because I think they've been in that bag way too long. Because <laughs> you bad. never know. Sean, have a little faith. Little faith. We do have some of our um, lilies are coming up. I had one that just bloomed. It's the yellow with the kind of the maroonish starburst of stargazers. At our old house, we had. Um, uh, a ton of different tulips and daffodils. It was so pretty. And then, um, of course, we have hosta that blooms Lots. and it's gorgeous. Lots of hosta. And then the one thing that we used to have, which we finally gave up on, which we shouldn't have. I liked it, but it, it, it is a one that is beautiful when it blooms. But then it just dies and it looks like a bush. And that's the, what are those flowers called? The ones that we love and they're bright colors, but then they just die and they're like, we had a ton of them back there. In the back? Yeah, we had pinks and purples. Oh, and... Um, mm, it's a ground cover. Yeah. We have, there's a guy that, that, Gorgeous. Lives, that lives on a, in a house and his whole half, because you drive by it every time. And it's... Uh, purples, pinks, and stuff. Oh, what do you call it? Um... And every year it gets bigger and, yeah. spreads. and it spreads. And during the spring they bloom and it's got these beautiful bright color flowers. Very short-lived. But then when they die, it's just the greenery. Yeah, just greenery. All the flowers just disappear. And the thing I love is Virginia Creeper. Sean hates it, but I, I love it. it. It's, it's just like a weed. I love it. It's everywhere. What is that stuff called? Not an iris. Doesn't it Azaleas, start, no. Doesn't Hydrangea. Does it start with a P? I don't know. Hydrangeas are pretty. And it's depending on the acidic pH of your ground will determine if it's going to be a pink or a blue. Oh, that's going to bug me. I might have to get my phone out. We used to have a petunias. Nope. This is a very, it's a very teeny tiny flower and there, there are like tons of them. So the whole thing is covered. Flocks. Thank you, Ann. Thank you, Flocks. 
I love it. Flocks. Yeah. Flocks are pretty, but they're so short lived. It's like a week, two weeks and they're dead. Every time he sees them, he's like, if they were like that all year, we would put it everywhere. Yeah. It's hard to find a plant, especially an, uh, a perennial that lasts all summer long. I drink, um, dahlias do pretty well. Even rhododendrons in our area don't last long. They don't, because we're not, uh, now over on the west side, they last longer because it's so much wet and it's not as hot. And you can find some people who have um, the tree style. Actually, at um, St. Luke's, they used to have the really big ones. They were like taller than seven, eight feet tall. And oh, they're, they're like they're bushes. The big, giant bushes. Yeah. Very pretty. Let me zoom in a little bit for us. So literally all we're doing is like just going down and you can do whatever you want to do on this part. Some people like the thicker paste, which is what I'm doing right now. Some like the watercolor. Um, on a blackboard, uh, the paste, if you were to blend it out, looks really good. Don't worry about going out of your edges like because when we actually overlay the next one, um, some of it's not going to line up, and that's just fine. That's fine. Lori says daylilies rebloom. Well, that's kind of cool. I and I like daylilies. They're very. Beautiful. I don't know what that is. They're the ones that are like almost like a flute, um, champagne glass flute. They're very th round, and a lot of uh, bridesmaids have them in, or brides have them in their hmm. flower things. They're just they're tall, cylindrical, and they just kind of open up a little bit at the top. Now, if you don't like the colors of my. Peonies, blame Sean, he picked them. It's okay. My um, ex stepmom had dahlias in her yard, and one of them was an all white with uh, purple and blue tips, and they were dinner plate size. So they're they're huge, but those those have to have some kind of a thing to hold up the stems because their stems are hollow mm -hmm. and they'll break so that she had a, but they were so pretty she she'd always pick them yeah my dahlia was bloom all summer and i and and i and i and all fall but i'm but you're in olympia yeah it's a little different over in olympia because of, just because of the weather but and she they lived over there too my my dad and except mom did that Ascetic lilies will rebloom. Day lilies, day dil I think day live one day, hence the name. The other flower that's pretty, but I think the plant itself is ugly, is are the irises. Beautiful flower, but then they're just I think the I, plant I, part I, is no. Like, oh no, that's a leaf. Okay, like, never mind. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna kind of try All this right. real quick. Rachel. Okay, so we're gonna do exactly the same thing in the flowers now. And I'm gonna grab a couple different brush sizes here. Let's see, I'm gonna grab that one. Oh, that's a good one. And then we're just grabbing raspberry sorbet once again. I'm just going to be watering it down right in here. Anne says in Montana, we plant peonies in the spring. See, I've heard the same thing. Like I've heard some places, I guess it all just depends. Yeah. All right, Teresa, this one's going to be a little difficult for me to pronounce. Nepeta musoni catmint blooms all summer too. I'm going to have to look that one up. What is that? I don't know. I've never heard of it. Oh, she's saying like a flower that blooms all year. I see. Yeah. When I... I'll have to see what that looks like. I don't know if that is a flower or part of... No, Where? Like this has got to be like the flower opening up.
Are you looking up your... You have... Sean's interest is peaked now. Yeah, unfortunately I can't do a copy-paste because of where it's at. Let's see. Now what I'm going to do, make sure when I paint, it's up to you, I guess, but I go different directions just so that way we don't have a whole bunch of harsh lines. And once again, if you go out of your lines, don't worry, it will give it a cool little look. Nepta, something called, called Cat, Cat Mint, Blue Wonder, oops, something went wrong, great. <laughs> Oops, still an error. You're having a lot of no. It's it's their website. It's the website. Oh, it's the website. Sean's probably gonna get hacked. Looks like mint. So we have been, Sean. Why don't you tell them our adventures with freeze dried candy lately? Say that again. Our freeze dried candy adventure. So we ordered saltwater taffy. Um, you, you ordered it one way. They said we couldn't do it that way, so we did it a different way. And so we got five flavors coming, but it is taking It's going to take forever ever. to get here. It's going to be July. Sometime in July for it to get here, so it's like, ugh. So we've been putting off doing gummy stuff because it it takes a long... Like, typically, like, Skittles and stuff we can do in two hours, but gummies are taking about... How long would you say, Sean? Getting our orders? For gummies to do. So it takes six hours to do gummies. So that's why we put it off. But yeah. we finally got gummy worms, gummy bears, yep. gummy rings. And we got them to work at the six hours and they are so good. Yes. And so we did a huge order because Sean can't just have gummy bears, you guys. Sean is very particular on his gummy bears. Mm. And his gummy worms and his peach rings. I can't just go and get generic. Oh, no. Even last night when we went to my NA meeting, I took a whole bunch of samples just to say, like, which is your favorite? And Sean wouldn't just be like, oh, this is gummy bears. He would say, these are the good gummy these bears. These are the Albanese. Albanese. No. Why are they the good? Because they use actual the actual fruit to flavor them uh, and the ultimate which we my, are we got coming which is my favorite because it's got like mango uh, the alfano alfonso uh, mango it's the got asian pear fruit, I think. asian pear yeah um a black currant fuji so for, apple for what, here let me grab this for those that don't know what we're talking about yeah we'll show you what we're talking about hi nancy b so these are their 12 flavors that I have coming. So this is just the normal one. This is their normal one. And so... Albanese. And they are very pungent in their yeah. flavor. So these, the just the regular one, is 12 flavors. Cherry, strawberry, mango, pineapple, lemon, orange, green apple, watermelon, which is one of my favorites, pink, grapefruit, lime, blue, raspberry, and grape. So yeah, those are good, good. So we have those coming, and then we have uh, a whole bunch of rings coming, like peach from, rings. From the same company, they make yep. rings. Yep, so peach rings. Um, a blueberry ring. Blueberry. Watermelon ring. Green apple. Green apple. So before we do anything, we do need this to dry. Um, so I'm going to be adding some other stuff before we do that. Um, because over here, I'm actually going to be putting little... In the last 30 minutes, one, two, three, four, five, we've gotten five orders. So I'm going to be doing an R address here, which you could have any address and stuff. And then on the other side, I'm going to be doing some white stripes. I was going to do some specs, but do you think that'll be too much? Mm -hmm. Keep it simple? I, I think okay. So. so, while that is drying, I'm going to dry it here. Let's go ahead and do our numbers. Mm -hmm. You want to dry that off to the mm -hmm. side? Mm -hmm. This here is the letterboard font. This was designed um, to work with our letterboard. 
So the letter board is this guy, where you can slide in the different things. Like I made this one here, and then you can change it out and stuff. So, um, and these tiles, it comes with white tiles. I'm gonna be using black tiles, but you can buy them separately. Right now they are out of stock. They were very, very popular. So when those do come back in stock, you are not going to want to wait on that. All right, so we need a three, nine, a four. Uh-oh, where's my one? Where's my one? Number one. Peachy. Oh, there it is. We're getting orders like crazy now. Says who? I, it keeps popping up on my phone. Oh. Well, don't pay attention to that. We're doing a live. Stop. Where's your phone? I'm 